Water is such a part of our everyday lives that we take it for granted. We use water for drinking, brushing our teeth, and washing clothes, dishes, and ourselves. But do you know where your water comes from or where it goes? Water infrastructure has three general systems. Clean drinking water comes from a river or a lake, is cleaned at a treatment plant, and moved to homes, schools, and businesses. Waste water, used and often dirty water, is flushed or drained, treated, and then moved to our rivers and lakes. Finally, storm water. When it rains or you wash your car, water runs off hard surfaces like parking lots and roofs to the stormwater system. Sadly, water infrastructure in the U.S. is in trouble. Many of these systems are old, overburdened, or under-maintained. Failed systems cost money to repair and can make people sick. Broken wastewater pipes leak polluted water directly into local streams. Another problem, some cities have older wastewater systems that collect stormwater. They can get overloaded during heavy rains, and when this happens, polluted water overflows into our rivers. Any water, polluted or not, that goes down a storm drain eventually enters rivers and streams. Our infrastructure needs to better manage stormwater prior to entering these important water bodies. We must make these three improvements to ensure clean water for all. Invest in green infrastructure, green space where rain soaks into soil and cleans naturally. Update and improve failing water infrastructure and ensure it is maintained. Invest equitably, ensuring those harmed the most by inadequate infrastructure experience the benefits of clean water. American Rivers and the Clean Water for All Coalition are determined to update our water infrastructure while making it greener and more cost-efficient. To learn more, go to protectcleanwater.org or americanrivers.org.